Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Jealousy comes in, goes on in families all the time. One child gets one kind of toy, the other one gets a toy that's not quite as nice. And the one with the toy that's not quite as nice is jealous of the one who has a better one. One has a birthday party and he gets to go to Disneyland with his family. The other one has a birthday party and they have a little piece of pie for him um, after supper. So he's jealous of the one that got to go to Disneyland. It goes on all the time. It happens at the office. One fellow gets a little nicer desk and he gets a desk by a, not one window but two and you're still in a room without windows in the old desk. One person has a lot thicker carpet or newer carpet than you have. So you're jealous of the one that has the newer carpet. One person who hasn't been at the company as long as you have gets a few perks that you don't get, and you're ticked off, and you're jealous of it. And that's, a, that's another whole story. There's jealousy that goes on in the human race on a regular basis. Jealousy is a sin that cannot be hidden. Release it. Release it. Jealousy is a killer. Jealousy provides the seeds that are dropped that lead ultimately to envy and then to strife and then to major conflict. I've dealt with couples where one man, where the man is more so jealous of the woman that he took, uh, in one case, he took all the doors off the house. Is that incredible? After they'd been married three or four months, they came back to visit with me. And I said, well, how's life? And she says, well, a kind of a funny thing happened. She says, my husband's taken all the doors off the inside of the house, taken them all down, pulled the pins and all the hinges. And now every door is gone. All we have is open. I said, into the bathroom even? Oh, yeah. That was one of the first ones he took down was a bathroom door. It's a weird guy. And, I, and she said, when he comes home from work, first thing he does is not come in and kiss me. He goes and checks the odometer in the car and he figures up what the odometer was that morning and then what it is that night and he asked me why I drove 12.7 miles when I was just going to go to Ralph's that day and back and that's only 2.6 miles because he's clocked it and what had you done in those other miles I mean that guy that is a weird guy that is a jealous man uh, I struggled with jealousy young in my younger years and Cynthia will tell you about it it was awful and uh she threatened to shoot me. No, that's not true, but she, she should have. I mean, I, 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 it's ridiculous. And I don't know how it happened, but I got cured of it real quick. She, uh, she really leveled with me and talked about the, uh, the uh, uh, prison that I had her in. And she loved me. We were going together, and we were thinking about talking about marriage. But she said, I can't live with that kind of thing. When I really analyzed jealousy for what it was, it was remarkable what it did to soften that part of my life. I can honestly say, and this isn't true of most things in my life, but when I dealt with jealousy, it got taken care of. I got a lot of weaknesses, a lot of struggles, but jealousy is not one of them. I don't sustain a jealous bone in my body for anybody. I have a lot of other battles, I say, but jealousy is not one of them. And when I see jealousy, I, I can look at it very objectively because I've been there. And it's a terrible place to live. And if you're there, I'm telling you, you can release it. It can be dealt with. Do your loved one, your loved ones a favor. And deal with it. If you need help, get help. But get rid of it. Jealousy is a killer. It can destroy a friendship, dissolve a romance, and ruin a marriage. It causes tension at work, dissolves unity on a team, and separates churches. Jealousy promotes competition and bitterness. The only cure for jealousy is contentment. When you're comfortable and secure with where you are and who you are, you're content to live your life and give others the freedom to live theirs. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message 
Cain, the farmer who murdered his brother, was copyrighted in 1991, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.